Yeah, hello. Hello, I'm back again. So, anyway, yeah, so I'm doing a little update video on my tattoos. As you guys know, I have lots of tattoos that I can't get rid of now. So, I don't know where I left off in the last one. I think the last one had about like five or six tattoos. But well, can it pass that point now? So, like, yeah. My last video, I think I done like a year and a bit ago. So, yeah. It just kind of like got past that point. So, we now have loads of tattoos that we kind of regret some of them, but it's fine. You know, like, that's how life goes. So, you know, you get shit and then you're like, oh, I gotta live with that for the rest of my life. Kind of regret that, but then I kind of don't regret it because you know it's me. So, yeah, I'm fucked up anyway. But yeah. <laughs> Let's recap. I think when I last done my my arm. I'm not sure if I had my web thing. My arm, I don't know if I have that quite yet. So I have it. Don't know if I have it in the old video but we've got it here so yeah. Um, that was like, it's very old now. It's like, it's nearly a year old now so I think. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I get tattooed all the time you know. It's like, <laughs> I've taken a break recently so yeah. Moth. That's a a very interesting one. Um, I swear this one's in it, but I'm not sure. So this is a matching tattoo I got my mum. Um, there's not much story to that other than it's matching and we thought it was cool. So it kind of filled this area. Kind of wish I got something bigger here and like filled it in with something else, but... Because you can't do much now, like there's loads of gaps and everything. Um, so going up from that, we then went away and got this one done while getting this one done. So like, they match, kind of. That that was the plan, but they, they, they don't match. They, they kind of match, but they don't. So like, the artist Liz, um, Liz, Liv, sorry. She had um, this thing where you pay like 50 pounds, so like, you get anything really. So I think I won, I got this one, because I love foxes anyway, so I was like, oh yes, got a fox tattoo. So I got that one. And then like obviously I noticed she had this one and I was like, bitch I gotta take that from you, I gotta have it. So I was like, look, I really want that one, I will pay you £100 for it, like, I don't give a fuck. Because like, I think she was wanting £100 or if you were just gonna go a random one, it was like 50 so I was like, okay, cool, whatever, I don't care. So yeah, I paid for that and then I think I got my fingers done at that time. So they're very old and minging now but I do need to get them touched up so I don't think it's going to focus very well. Yeah, it's not. But I got like this this cute moon. So that was the plan. I wanted a moon done and I also wanted that done. So I was like, cool, we're getting that. Then I said to her, I was like, oh, could you put dots on my finger? So I was like, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's gonna be a great idea. No, no. Y you can hardly see them. People think they're like warts or something. I'm like, mm-hmm, great, yeah. That's what they are. And, like somebody said to me they thought it was like permanent marker ones and I was like Yeah, thanks for that. Great idea. Convention that I photographed and I decided to get this done, which is a a moon thing and it was cool. All of them had like some cool ones. It was like about supporting women that have been raped. So like they raised money for that, like all the money in the tattoos went towards that, so it was really sweet and nice. Um I think I also put like posters up and shit in like my college and stuff and like just put them up around. An artist called Alice. So it was really really cool. Obviously we can't see it right now but I'll get a close up of it for you when I can. But yeah it's super super pretty. So I then organized because I was like oh that's so cool I like that. I then organized for her to do some more. So or originally and by the way this is one of the worst places to get tattooed just so you're aware. That's not nice. And then obviously I got that to add into it, which I thought was a cool idea, so like she's kind of like come in and done that. Becky. So she done this cool thing. It was like meant to be a, I think it was like £60 worth or something, I can't remember. Let's see if we can get a good look at it. But yeah, it's Beetlejuice. If you've seen that. It's basically a Polaroid. Um, obviously I love my camera stuff, so you know, my first tattoo was a wee camera lens, so. But yeah, so it's a little Polaroid, it says no feet, and I like Beetlejuice so much, so I was like, it kind of goes with this arm, because this arm is like fucking weird as shit and like random stuff, so it looks cool. My arm kind of with this, which is like a witch's hat. 
I kind of like this one. Yeah, it looks really cool and creepy. Lots of spiders and stuff on here, and like bats, and ah, it's creepy and cool, and I like proper love it so much. So I'm just like, basically, apart from this 6 9 thing, or 6 9 thing, no, no, we don't want to be thingy to that. So it's just like 999, or is there a way to show this where I don't have to get in weird angles? So yeah, that was 999, you know, just in case I forget to call like help. No, it's just because um, one of the girls in the new tattoo studio I go to, her husband owns a tattoo studio. Um, I think I've spoke about Sanctuary Body Art before, I don't know. It's in Leaf. Um, if you live in Edinburgh, you'll know exactly where I'm on about. If you don't, then you might have possibly been to Edinburgh and you might have been to Leaf. It's a great place. No, I'm kidding, but um, yeah, their studio's quite cool. Like, they do lots of stuff, but yeah. So, um, yeah, so her boyfriend, husband, whatever, I don't fucking know. Partner, loving, whatever. But yeah, but he, she basically wanted to do tattoos and said to me, like, if you're up for it, I was like, do you know what? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. So I was like, I like, kind of wanted some gangster shit, so I was like, fuck it, we'll go over it. So, a Drippy Red's like thing is 999 I think, or 666, I can't remember. So I was like looking at that and I was like, do you know what, I might just fucking do that. And then I thought like satanic shit and I was like, do you know what, fuck it, we'll just do it. I hate ghosts and paranormal shit, but like, you know what, if a demon comes to get me in my sleep, then I'd rather that than die from the corona right now, so. Here too, with my bestie, Jordan, and we both love Nirvana, so. Like, we both, like, I don't know, it was his first tattoo and I was just like proper getting him like, right, you know what, you need to get a tattoo, you need to get a tattoo, and then eventually I fucking convinced him and I was overly mean about this, and I'm sure Jordan probably watch this and start pissing his ass laughing, but yeah. So we went to one of the artists that I get a lot of my work done from, and he was like, are you, are you sure you want to do that? And I was like, yeah, like, I know I'm dumb. <laughs> Okay, so we both go out and um, I'll insert a little photo here of us getting it like done together. Um, I was going to video him doing it, like, his reaction, but he was like, don't fucking do that. And I was like, okay, okay. Next one is this one, which is a cool little thing, hands holding. Yeah, it reminds me of Neck Deep, that's kind of why I liked it. Um, it was one of those £50 things, so you spin the wee knob like I did for these and this is one you know spin the knob and get what you get I like my weird traditional stuff but this was fucking cool um, I never expected myself to get that one but I seen it in obviously Liv's thing and I was like fuck it that was a 50 pound one as well um, this is one tattoo that I actually got like meaning to get like, had a meaning to it like so I like Stone Roses also I kind of got it because of my dad so I like the fact that it's got my middle name in it, so it's kind of interesting. So, Sally Cinnamon, you are my world. And everybody tells me, oh, it's not the same fucking thing, that it's not the logo. And I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, it's not the album cover. Well, and, like, fuck off, like, it's quite clear what it is. Oh, we have cunt. So, it's, it's my lovely, um, leopard with a rose and some fire. So this was in one of the Rust my tattoo artist that I now go to often. It was in his like wee book of like tattoos that he'd drawn up years ago and nobody's ever done it. So I got it and I was like, yes. And then to go with that, I have my stomach done by him now. I don't know if I have any photos or videos of this, but yeah. Then acid Tom. He's so cool, but yeah. Um, now I have Bugs Bunny as a, a cross dresser, let's say, or I don't know the word for it, but you know what? He's, he's cool. So it's Bugs Bunny as a woman dressed up. But yeah, I seen it as a meme and I put it on Instagram and I was like, oh, should I get this? And then I got it and I was like, oh, well, I got it. I don't know if I've ever showed this one yet, but this is Tom's girlfriend, because I like Tom. Um, yeah, so Tom's girlfriend is now on my leg too. So it's like Tom's not alone, he's like, girl. Um, yeah. And then I decided there is a tattoo artist in the Sanctuary Body Art as well who is, let's say, 
the identical version of Lil Peep. And it's so weird because he's a lot older than Peep and I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah, so he looks a lot like him. And it's just like, I call him Lil Peep now. Like, I, I think the first time I ever met him, I said to Ross, who was doing a tattoo on me, he was doing my back. And I was just like, I, I, I don't know why, but I recognise this boy. And I was like, oh wait, no, I don't recognise him. He looks like this guy. So, I then went and spoke to Ross about it and I was like, here, it's Hello Peep. And he was like, I, I don't know who that is. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, and like, bearing in mind Ross is like in his 40s, you know, so he's just like, what the fuck are you on about? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, I show him a photo and he's like, oh my god, they do look alike. And I was like, yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> and so, ever since, now everybody calls him Little Peep, thanks to me. And now he has like, a thing where he does peep tattoos and it's funny as fuck because I'm just like <laughs> thanks to me <laughs> but yeah so um aye so this is the thing I want to show you is my little peep bot simpson tattoo now this has been like featured on some fucking little peep fan page I don't know fuck knows if it's still there but yeah Let's see if we can show you a little bit of that and it goes all the way up to my neck hopefully this video is a good one not really a video I wanted to make because it's freezing fucking cold and I'm not very confident about the way I look anymore so you know it's, it's a great one but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed the video and yeah hopefully I get some more tattoos soon but we shall we shall wait and see so yeah I shall let you go have a good day Um, try not to cry because it's a fun life so I'll see you later.